Assalamu alaikum, my dear respected viewers from all over the world. Peace be upon you. Peace be upon you, my dear viewers. Today I stand in the city of Kufa, and today we're going to take a journey to visit one of the most historical mosques in Iraq, the city of Kufa and this mosque of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Insha'Allah, we will go inside. We will talk about the history of Kufa. We will talk about the merits of Kufa. We will look over some of the maqamat here in Kufa. Insha'Allah, with me now. Dear brothers and sisters, here I am now in Masjid al-Kufa, the Masjid of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam, the Masjid of Nabi Allah Adam alayhi salam, the Masjid of Ibrahim alayhi salam and Nuh and all the prophets and messengers and awsiyya. This masjid, this masjid has a very beautiful sanctity. This mosque has so much history. This mosque, it is narrated by the Mu'arrikhun, by the historians, that the first person to build this mosque, the asas, the foundation of this mosque, was the Allah Adam salam. Of course, there are two reports. There's a report that is narrated that this mosque was built by the angels. And of course, after it got destroyed, Adam salam was the first person to come and map out the mosque here. This is the mosque in which Noah salam, built his ark. This is the mosque in which from here the flood began. This is the mosque of Al-Kufa. We will begin today by narrating, you, narrating to you some of the fada'il, the merits of this beautiful mosque. Some of the merits here of praying in this mosque, of merely being in this mosque, here in this beautiful mosque. It is narrated that originally this mosque had a bigger span, a bigger area than it used to be. I will read to you a report narrated by Shaykh al Saduq in his book, Man la yahdharahu al Faqih. His companion asks him, he says, Ya Ja'far ibn Muhammad, the limits, boundaries of Masjid al Kufa, where are they? Imam al Sadiq salam responds to him. He says, The original map that Adam salam had planned out. The original map extended to as sarajin as sarajin is a bazaar currently today in Baghdad. So if you imagine Kufa and you take a map and you find the distance between here and that location, you find a great distance. And this is the original map of Masjid al-Kufa. Then he asks the Imam, he tells them, Ya Imam, then who changed it after that? The Imam salam said, firstly, the grand floods at the time of Nuh salam. You see, it is here in this holy mosque where the flood started, where Noah built his ark, Prophet Noah salam. Then he says, he says, secondly, the companions of Kisra and the companions of Al-Nu'man ibn Al-Mundir. And lastly, it was Ziyad ibn Abi Sufyan who altered the map last. And that is exactly the people and that is that is and those are the people that altered the map and now as you can see the beauty behind this mosque inshallah we will further walk into this mosque and we will talk to you more about the merits of this mosque inshallah ta'ala we spoke that the mosque here has so much history this mosque itself has beautiful sanctity the blessings of this mosque, it is narrated by the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him, Ali ibn Abi Talib. He states that the blessings attained from this mosque are felt at a mile or at a radius of 12 miles. You know, you see, there's, there's, many, there's many important locations here in this mosque. And inshallah, we'll try our best today to cover as much as possible. We'll try our best today to cover as much as possible and speak about the merits of this mosque, 
speak about the history of this mosque, speak about what occurred here in this mosque, insha'Allah. First of all, we will narrate some of the fada'il of this mosque. Since we are here in this holy grounds, in this holy masjid, we will narrate to you a tradition, a tradition narrated by Shaykh al kulaini in his kitab, Al-Kafi al-Sharif. He narrates the tradition on the authority of Imam Ja'far ibn Muhammad ibn al-Sadiq. He says, لِلَّهِ حَرَمٌ وَهِيَ مَكَّةٌ وَلِلْرَسُولِ حَرَمٌ وَهِيَ الْمَدِينَةِ وَلِيَ حَرَمٌ وَهِيَ الْكُوفَةِ This tradition is narrated on the authority of Imam Ali alayhi salam. He says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a sanctuary and that sanctuary is Mecca. Rasulullah peace be upon him and his family has a sanctuary and that sanctuary is al Madina. and I have a sanctuary and that sanctuary is Masjid Al-Kufa. There is another report by Imam Sadiq salam with the same madmoon but at the end Imam Sadiq salam and our sanctuary as in mine and the Shia is Qum. So you see this masjid has a high sanctity. This masjid has a beautiful sanctity. This masjid has many blessings. Let us go on to a different report. A different report now. It is narrated in another report by Sheikh Al Kulaini. With the same madmoon, almost the same context as the other report by Abi Abdullah Ja'far ibn Muhammad al Sadiq. Imam al Sadiq, what does he say? Imam al Sadiq says, that Mecca is the sacred land, the sacred site of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well as his prophet and his wasi, Imam Ali peace be upon him. Then he says that one dirham spent towards Mecca and towards, these land, towards this land counts as 100,000 in your deeds. And one prayer in this holy site counts as 100,000 prayers. The Imam continues, he says Medina is the sacred land of Allah as well and Medina is the sacred land of Rasulullah and Imam Ali alayhi salam. And he says that the dirham spent and the prayer in it equates to 10,000 in your mizan, in your good deeds. Then he continues and he says, Al-Kufa as well is the sacred sanctity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Imam Ali alayhi salam. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon them. And he says that the dirham spent to come to this holy mosque equates 1,000 dirham. And the prayer that you pray, one rak'ah equates 1,000. So the believer here that comes to this mosque and he prays, he prays one rak'ah, he gains how much? 1,000 in his mizan, in his good deeds. This is one report that is narrated by Muhammad Sadiq salam. Now I will to narrate to you a different incident. This incident is narrated by Imam Ali alayhi salam. A man came to Amir al-Mu'mineen salam Allah alayhi and this incident is narrated in Bihar al-Anwar of Al-Allam al-Majlisi. If you refer back to volume 97 in the chapter concerning Masjid al-Kufa, you will find all of these beautiful narrations and more as well. So a man comes to Amir al muminin the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him, and he begins to talk to him. He tells him, Ya Amir al muminin O commander of the faithful, I have readied my caravan and I have readied my provisions and I will soon head out to the holy Beit al-Maqdis, the holy house in Jerusalem. What do you ask of me, O Amir al muminin The commander of the faithful told him, O man, get rid of your caravan, sell your caravan, sell your provisions and head to Masjid al-Kufa. And I will read you the Nas, the exact context as Imam Ali salam told this man. He told him, depart now, Depart now and sell your caravan and your provisions for I suggest that you come to Masjid al-Kufa. I suggest that you come to this mosque over here. He says, Masjid al-Kufa is of the Masajid al-Arba'a. Masjid al-Kufa is of the four holy mosques. Then he says, praying a unit of prayer here in this mosque is unlike praying a unit of prayer elsewhere. This mosque is very holy. He says, praying one unit of prayer here is unlike praying a unit of prayer anywhere else. He says, the one who comes 
to this holy mosque attains its blessings at a range of 12 miles. It continues, even though that this mosque lost 1,000 arm lengths because of the flood that's happened from the corner, Huna Faru Tanur. It continues. He says, furthermore, by the fifth pillar is where Prophet Abraham السلام, prayed. By the fifth pillar is where Prophet Abraham السلام, prayed. And he says, Prophet Abraham, as well as 1,000 prophets and 1,000 messengers prayed in these holy grounds. He continues, he says, in this mosque is the Asa, the cane of Musa السلام, and in this mosque is the Khatim, the ring of Nabi Allah Dawood, peace be upon him. He continues, he says, in the center of this mosque is a garden, of the gardens of paradise. Rawdatun min Riyadh al Jannah. This mosque, he says, has three eyes an eye that gushes water, an eye that gushes honey, and an eye that gushes oil. He says, purity, purity is diffused from this mosque. This purity that's diffused, that we cannot see, purifies the believer. He continues, he says, this is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed the nation of Noah and destroyed the idols, whom? The idols Yaghuth and Ya'uq. He destroyed them here in this mosque. On the day of judgment, Amir al-Mu'mineen sallamullahi alayhi says that 70,000 people that are buried in this area will enter paradise without any question. The Imam says the right side of this mosque represents dhikr and the, and the left side represents makr. Now, in the tafsir of this, it says that dhikr, meaning it is the favor of Allah when Allah is remembered. The Imam continues and he says, by Allah, if the people only knew by Allah, if the people only knew what blessing this place had, they would come to it crawling. This is so far three reports of the merits of this holy mosque and inshallah we will narrate to you more reports. Bi'idnillahi ta'ala. We narrated a couple of traditions concerning the merits of Masjid al-Kufa from the tongue of the commander of the faithful, peace be upon him, as well as Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him. We will conclude our introduction with a couple of more narrations from the Holy Household concerning the Fada'il and the merits of Masjid al-Kufa. It is narrated by Imam al-Sadiq, a narration that can be found in Bihar al-Anwar by al alamat al-Majlisi. Imam al-Sadiq, peace be upon him, says, for those that have a house in Kufa, for those that have a house in Masjid al-Kufa, I ask them not to leave it and to hold on to it. The Imam Sadiq salam here, peace be upon him, is telling us that if you have a house near Masjid al-Kufa, hold on to it and do not let go. There's another tradition as well, narrated by Ibn Qulawai al-Qumni in his book Kamil al-Ziyarat. He narrates this on the authority of Abu Hamza al-Thumali with one Allah Ta'ala alayhi. Abu Hamza narrates, he says, Imam al-Sajjad, Imam Zayn al-Abideen, peace be upon him, he left Medina for the sole purpose of visiting Masjid al-Kufa and he prayed two units of prayer and departed. This here is a sunnah, a sunnah from Imam Ma'soom, Muftarad al-Ta'a, and from him, we learn that it's an obligation for us to also come to Masjid al-Kufa and enact on the Sunnah. To conclude, there is one more report narrated in Bihar al-Anwar by al-Allamat al-Majlisi. He narrates from the authority of al-Hasan al-Mujtaba about Muhammad alayhi salam. He says, the person living in Kufa, his house is more loved to me than my house in Medina. You see, my dear brothers and sisters, those of you that are watching me, 
here in this holy land. This masjid, this mosque is beyond words of explanation. I can sit here day and night and speak to you about the fada'il of this mosque and I would still be called a muqassar. I would still have not given this mosque its full rights. I would still not have given the full merit of this mosque. This is the mosque on which the Day of Judgment will intercede and tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it will materialize and say those who have prayed in my mosque this mosque will come and testify. This is the mosque wherein thousands and thousands of angels descend every day and they stay here and they pray here and they do not go back to the heavens until the day of judgment. This here is the mosque of the prophets and the messengers. This here is the mosque of Amir al-Mu'mineen, Mawla al-Mawahideen, peace be upon him. Here, in these walls, in this courtyard, my master Ali ibn Abi Talib walked. This mosque carries the footsteps of Ali ibn Abi Talib. This mosque is a holy mosque. And when we come here, we should take care of its sanctity. We come in a pure form. Inshallah, now that we have talking, talk, now, we, now that we have talked about the merits of this holy mosque, we will continue, inshallah, and go to the maqams here, to the dakka, to the branches in this mosque so that we may talk, talk to you more about the incidents, the historical incidents that happened in this holy mosque. Al-Khidr alayhi salam. You might know his name. All Muslims know about Al-Khidr alayhi salam. He is famous for his incident with Musa, Kalimullah, peace be upon him. Al-Khidr alayhi salam has history here in this mosque. Al-Khidr alayhi salam in this mosque here, he met the commander of the faithful.